Yeah, interested, he said during the week that the bigger the stadium, the bigger the challenge, and he, he looked really focused on the walk on. I just felt and assessed that Michael Smith was just looking very calm. He even gave us a wave in here. It was a wave, wasn't it, Rod? I think it was, yes. It was aimed at you, Glenn, whatever it was. And we have to go back now, seven years, to that magical night here in Rotterdam when the Orange Army saw Barney walk on. But the bullseye! What a start from Littler! Wow, the atmosphere was great to begin this game. And during the interviews, he's just got up another few decibels as well. What a place and what a sensational finish from Luke Littler. Absolutely incredible, just beautiful to watch. Well, that's his first maximum of the match. It comes in the third leg. Littler's already had a brace, and Smith here looking at a possible 11 dart leg to take the lead for the first time in the contest. It's on here on double 12. Wonderful leg of darts from the former world champion. Looking like Smith three all here, Glenn, now. Well, I say that, Littler again may only get one at double. Well, he won't get that. Possibly. Hold the back page. And when sat on 2 or 6, he probably thought his chances were gone. But that's why he should never give up in a leg. You'd expect the air dart to double. It's two darts, double 12. Michael Smith. Four times they've met. Look at the reaction there. Advantage, Michael Smith. Well, Littler's head to head records this year in the Premier League. One all against Price, 2 1 against Cross, 1 0 against Wright, 3 1. But he's left what Wayne calls the baby fish. 1 3 0. Only one treble would be needed in that combo. Smith needs two and he can't find them. Yeah, both players have had a, a 170 finish in this competition so far. How big is this 130? Well, he hit the ball in the first leg to nail a 164, but he didn't get the chance to try and finish on the bullseye there. Michael Smith, double 15. He will not shy away for that next door to his favourite double 10. And Michael Smith now leads Luke Littler five legs to two in a race to six. Just when you think the, the match is almost over. How good is Michael Smith tonight? He want to correct the wrongs from previous weeks when he's played this beautiful in his first game. This for the match. For the match. 78 left, 24 left for the match, double 12. Michael Smith misses a match start. Can Littler stay afloat in the Dutch port city of Rotterdam with this 90 finish? Well, he started this match with a bolt. It's double 15, it's been good to Smith. Well, Michael Smith hit that earlier, Little has missed it, and it could be his last start, because Michael Smith now wants double six. And Michael Smith, for the fourth time in the 2024 Premier League, six Luke Littler. Not Regular situation for him, low, low, low. Basically, he's, he's releasing late, and the hand just can't open. It can't open quick enough for him. Because he was visibly frustrated then after a 177 start, he couldn't follow it up. At credit get him in price down at 92 after nine darts. Seems like they're warming to the task now after a slow opening couple of legs as Rob Cross finds his first max of this match. Good leg, this. Good leg, this. Ah! Oh. Fancied it, got it. Two one up. The game has livened up. Absolutely incredible. I don't think he's played that much worse. In fact, statistically. Uh, Average-wise, he's above last year's. It's all about timing. It's all about timing. Bullseye. Oh, oh. And he glanced over, didn't he? He had a thing to think about it. And then I thought, he's looked at Rob's 170 and thought, no, I better go for it, but changed his mind. And uh... At the weekend mark, Ross Smith left him on 161, decided not to go for it. Changed and the game, didn't it? Changed the game. Ross, uh, Ross Smith didn't go for the bullseye. Gettowin Price took out 161. Like Mark said, it changed the game. But he was confident that Rob Cross wouldn't take out 170, and he was right. 
It's taken to leg five for the Gerwin Prize rule, but it was the right shot. Still all on throw, Price halfway to a spot in the semi-final against Michael Smith. And we see the reaction. If, as we expect, these two do miss out on the playoffs, I don't think they're players that are going to dwell on it, Wayne. They're going to move on, aren't they? There's plenty to play for, World Series, Euro Tours, World Cups, World Match Plays. And they'll use this, the experience of this Premier League, however it concludes, to kick on. Yeah, this is Rob Cross's fifth Premier League and Ghetto in Price is sixth. They've, they've been there, seen it and nearly done it. Not quite. What these two haven't won between them is really just the Premier League, if you will. Between them, they've been Mustardo very often. Three 180s apiece now, but away with Dart. Double 16 for a hell of a save. Some recovery that second down and brilliant with the third down. He's giving it some now. Brilliant from Rob Cross. And acknowledged by Gedwin Price. Six legs played, all on throw. As Rob is having a bit of a stink here. 15 darts thrown, 228 left. Of all the times, Mark, to have a, a mare, it's this leg. On throw as well, and it, he... He needed a break and he couldn't afford to drop his throw in the process and get him in price, being afforded the luxury of being able to tee up that 1 2 7. And he finds another 180, Rob Cross, but it could be academic. Has he got to move over? Yes, he has. This is missable. It was missable. That was a hell of a dart. You saw the angle in which it went in there. That was really awkward. Well done. When you move over to the left, throwing over to the right-hand side, not only have you got to get the line right, you've got to get the weight right. He's no good, it feels horrific. And by in that treble four, he's left, one, six, three. The previous leg, Gary Price had chances to set up one, two, seven. Had a chance here. He won't be thrilled with that set up, but it's still a single to double for two valuable Premier League points, and he'll settle for that. Could be Rob Cross's last visit of the evening. It's a big game. Oh, wow. Tops. It's a meaningful game. And that is a pearler of a Tops. And it's Gedevin Price who beats Rob Cross. Yeah, the problem when you don't feel like it is, you suddenly start bringing your shoulder into it. The, the body movement there with Peter as well. He's looking about. His concentration levels are almost zero right now. And on the walk, and I just sense Nathan was just a little bit tentative. So he'll be enjoying what he's seeing right now. No finish here for Snakebite, but certainly a two-dart pop-pop finish for the Asp. It's been a fabulous start to the night. I didn't see any issues from the four players previously. No. Tops, two to last middle, and things already looking shaky for Snakey. Oh, I see what you did there, Rod. Aspinall will be back. He's finished on 56 already in this match. And you can just sense with Nathan. We're used to seeing him bouncing around. But a sharp and take a breath. Big dart at tops. And no need to go boing, boing, boing after nailing that 56, is there? It, it's, it's not a match where he needs to go through that routine, does he? And show his aggression and his uh, joie de vivre, if you will. Yeah, we this period, whereas for Peter... Yeah, and I, I just want to ask you on that, Glenn, because... I'll just, let's watch this, that's isn't going to go. A rugby league coach friend of mine once said, it's my job to give the players a reason to play, but it does, you've got to do that for yourself. So how, what did you give as a reason to play in all those Premier League nights when you were bottom and couldn't qualify? Yeah, like I said, it's a very individual sport as Peter looks at that 140. He's got a good team around him. You know, he, he travels around with his wife. And, I say this is an important part for Nathan Aspinall, big 20. Huge moment. Tops for a big, big lead. Well, if he misses this double 10, it's game on. He hasn't missed it, and you feel it's almost game over. And he missed that, and Wright gone out on Tops. It was 4-3, and suddenly Peter Wright averaging 70-odd would have been right back in this dance match. But now, big fish to win it for the Asp. No. Yeah, the biggest bull hitter of the Premier League campaign this year. 
just sense he would have gone for that wherever's happened. The delight will be there inside for Nathan Asmith if he gets over the line. He two points, he goes back over Michael Smith. He'll be up next. He'll be the first semi-final, remember? And who knows, they could meet in the final and it would be effectively a playoff to finish in the top four at the end of the night. That would be interesting. Yes, it's there for the double, adjacent to the treble. Double 18 and Nathan Aspinall finishes off Peter Wright. Which is why he's not top of the pile. Because after four weeks gone, he won three of them. So 164 from the other Luke earlier on this evening. See it again. Chances are here return. Just a little pause here for Michael. Double 16. That is superb. That really is. Down to go up is not always that simple. Sensible play from Humphreys if he gets a look at it. He may not. A 149 in leg two and he marginally misses a 164 in leg three. Wow. That would have been a real roof raiser. Well, he took this out to win the first leg. Is it going to be dark Vu? No. These are the legs you've got to nick. Up to double four. And they both both missed opportunities for this third leg. Humphreys again to lead. No response from it. Dead pan face. But Michael Van Gerwen didn't think he'd be getting this opportunity. But he took it. 2 1 up. Quite a heavy dart compared to the rest of the players. Incredible from Humphreys. Four maxes already. And he will get a look to level up here and break straight back. An 11 data. The darts win the last leg. And he's missed again. MVG could break his heart here. This will be another pinch, but it feels like it's a break of throw. This is for a hold. Big moments here. The back to back legs. And he can't find the double. Humphreys, though, less than convincing on the outer ring. He's missed eight already, but he gets there in the end. And indicating there is a bit of drop, but he pinned the double eight and he breaks straight back to a piece. Ranking wise, got the world title acknowledged by Michael Van Gogh, and he's the best player in the world, Luke Humphreys. And he's showing why here on this visit and in this performance. Michael is hanging on. He did all that. Now he's hoping that the world number one doesn't take out 106. Double 16 for 4 2. Makes it look so simple. It's so easy, it's so quick, and it's done and dusted in the blink of an eye. But Van Gerwen, from 5 2 down, he had a great leg last leg. He's having a perler here. Wow. Okay. That is an error, in my opinion, for the match. And he's gone away with it. Thinking it. The world number one world champ. Possibly not take out 116, but Van Gieren is still alive here. Gets a break. He'll need another break. In the meantime, he's got to hold his throw, but it's game on. Mark, I can only assume he didn't look. I can only assume Michael Van Gogh didn't know Luke Humphries was on 116. But it might, and if it does, this man has the throw. He may have the throw, but he won't have the support of the home crowd. There's some atmosphere if Van Gogh can force a decider. He's not going to hear, and there's more match opportunities for Humphries. He's missed one for the match already on the end of a 116 combination. There should be at least one more here. Is he going to wrap this up and book a place in the semi-final against Nathan Aspinall? The answer is yes. My yeah, the option of the bullseye or treble 14. What an option he went for this time. 
he doesn't normally like this. Yeah, hence the reason I added the treble 14 into the equation there because he much prefers double tops. And this would be special. This is the sixth meeting already in 12 weeks for these two. 4 1 for Michael Smith. And that is the break of throw. It wasn't the best of legs from Michael Smith, but it was a real good leg to break from Gedowin Price. Yes. We've seen him miss 150 on a double. Is he going to get a poke here? The answer should be yes. Oh, wow. He'll be gutted he missed that. Just a little reminder to Gezi that he would have hit the double 16. But to take control of this match, double 10, been here before. Big dart. 30. Is he going to pinch it? Is he going to get the throw back? Yes, he is. That was a cracking last dart. That is how you use a marker. That is why if you can place a dart outside of your target where you want it and use it, the target just looks bigger, it feels bigger, and it acts as like a barrier. That's what good markers are all about. And then this not like that. Just give your opponent a, a breather when you have a bad visit, and it frees them up. I just never felt I had the scoring power that I witnessed with these players in the Premier League this year. And Michael Smith this time from nowhere, 51 for an 11. 11 and 12s get rattled in all over the shop nowadays. One leg away from his fourth final. Little insurance policy of throwing first in the. Last leg, if it gets there. 92. It's such an advantage over a leg of 501 at this level. He's deep in thought, already planning his attack on 14, double top, and Smith. Hope over expectation. Chance for Price to go the distance. It hasn't been that kind, Tops. That is a cracking double, a double 10, and that takes us all the way a treble a visit is fine as long as you keep straight you still want to be in the position of Michael Smith right now and that last down still makes him favorite for this match but what a way to win it what a way to win it be disappointed not to at least have reached the target these are the moments you practice for. These are the moments to reach the final for his beloved tops. And he gets it. He is in the final for the fourth time in this year's Premier League. Um, Liverpool next week, and these two meet in the quarterfinals next week. So the big matches keep coming for the pair of them. Well, it could be Rotterdam or anywhere. Liverpool, but not Rome. 41. Someone once sang. But Humphrey's had a bit of a ropey run since he won in week eight, hadn't he? No ton plus averages in four matches prior to tonight. He limped over the hundred against Van Gerwen. He's averaging 89 here, so he was averaging 100 every game at one point, wasn't he? But it's dropped off his form, Humphreys, for whatever reason. Now double eight. That will do very nicely for the world champion. But as we saw last week in Birmingham, Mark, Michael Van Gerwen didn't shoot the lights out, did he? But he still found a way to craft a nightly win out of this one all now. 48. And as Wayne would say, it has to go. It's got to go. Got to, got to go. Got to go. Or you've gone, you think. And Nathan Aspinall could be pushed towards the trap door here by Humphreys, who wants double two. Nine darts missed the doubles from Nathan in the match. Luke has missed ten now. Lifeline for Aspinall. What a reprieve for Aspinall. Can he take advantage? Oh, now then, this is getting really awkward. His reaction tells you all mm. that awkward. He, uh, look where he's going. Do well to get in there, but he does get in there. That's some bar for Nathan Aspinall. 
It looked like he didn't believe he could get through the shake of the hand, but he found the way and he keeps his hopes alive. He claws one of those breaks to throw back, and there we see Humphreys dejected. He had opportunities for 5 1. Not that it matters what Michael Smith thinks, really, but who would he rather play here? Would he rather see Aspinall out now and give him the breathing space, or would he rather play Aspinall in the final, who, you know, to all intent, you know, let's get it right, Aspinall isn't as good a player as Humphrey, so would Smith rather play the weaker player, which is Aspinall, or would he rather Aspinall's gone so he can't pick up the extra point? Well, Aspinall gone, wouldn't you, surely, Nick? I know what you're saying, but surely just his main rival not getting any more points will be the priority. Well, as I say, it doesn't matter what Michael Smith wants. He doesn't get the choice. It's not the X factor. Anyway, double top is here for Aspinall. This is to be all square at four apiece, and he finds it. Four one down, and looking odds on for five one down. He's rallied here, Aspinall. This granite competitor ties it up at four apiece. Went two behind. It changed the whole dynamic of the darts match, and now with the darts in the odd-numbered legs, he's in with every chance. He's in the huge chance now, what a rally this is for Nathan. The better player now, average up above 96, and time with a 94, no need to go chasing down using the 25, and just set up the shot, double eight for five, four, brilliant from the Asp, a 12 dart leg, he was four one down, could have gone five one down. He's now one leg away from the final for the match and a place in the final for Nathan Aspinall. Going the bullseye route. The experts and Wayne Mardell would say go the 20s route first. He ignores the experts, he goes his own way. Will he be made to pay? No ton plus finish in the match yet and this is to save Luke Humphreys. And he's not going to save himself. Match starts incoming. 4 1 down. Reminder Nathan Aspinall trailed this for a huge victory. To reach his fifth final in the 24 Premier League. He wants tops. He won in Exeter. He'll get a chance to win in Rotterdam because he's beaten Luke Humphreys. Right now, there won't be a nerve in the body of either player. Yes, there's a huge importance of this game. It's Aspinall's first to a double. Would be a breaker throw as well, remember. And Nathan missed out last year on a very final week of qualification for the playoffs. Bullseye now! And Michael Smith lost 10 8 in the semi finals to get uh, Michael Van Gerwen. You can learn so much the way he approached the board there. The concentration levels went to a, a new level there. His two closest competitors are now we're in this final. And that's going to look at treble 20. And you get the set up play. Can Smith pop the cork of the champagne shot? No, he can't. It was a poor first start, wasn't it? So far away from where he was aiming, which would have been the top half of the bullseye. It's a 3 1. Big moments here in this final. And he's up to it. That wasn't an easy dart because the first dart, the double 12, wasn't even a marker. Great recalibration by Nathan Aspinall. Yeah, as he came off that semi final win, I passed Nathan. He said, There's no one better, Glenn, than me in that type of situation. And that double there, uh, crucial in a best of 11 game. The difference between 3 1 and 2 2 is it's massive. Just the best from where with Michael, everything's so easy. This for a breaker throw, you'd have to say this would be match point. Well, that was unlucky, it was a well thrown dart, it just clattered into the first one. He did everything he wanted to do, it just didn't go in. Will he be punished? 54 or bullseye? 36 now! Pulled it! Pulled it badly! Massive chance, breaker throw. And to be one away. First dart of double ten was not that great and didn't seem to recapture any composure after that either. That was a let off for Michael Smith. Said this before in this match, double four now. He can faff because Michael Smith's left one six eight. Doesn't want to faff, of course. 
Yeah, he didn't want to go down to double two, and I think that may have just been on his mind there. He could have maybe done with hitting a big force. He could have bust the score and started again. However, if you offer three darts and a double, you would snap it up every time. There's the focus. Where's the execution? Right there. Five three. Michael Smith has to hold, break, hold. He won five legs on the bounce, playing quite beautifully. And he's kind of carried that on. Whilst this hasn't been peak Aspinall, this has been good Aspinall. Yeah, I just sense another twist, though. Do you? I certainly do. Like I said, it's that. We've talked about the psychology of the game. There's not an awful lot of, to separate these players. All eight. They all score massive. They all finish supremely well. But sometimes it's the mindset, the focus. And who wants it most? Oh. Ha, ha, ha. Whenever Bully Boy is about, a 170 is possible. I think they're still moaning about the wind. You've just taken out the big fish. Come on now. No, I've worked it out. He was going for a big 14 there. Yeah. And the wind got hold of it and took her in the bullseye. You're a lucky man, Smith. You know you're in trouble when 140 is not enough. For the weekly win. Double 16. No dramas, no panic. That delight when you look over to your opponent's score. Michael Smith way back on 187. He's not way back One anymore. This is your moment, Nathan. This is what the night's been about for him. He was the winner in 2023 here. Is it double Dutch? Oh, the anguish! I did say the twist. Yeah, you did. Is this going to be the moment? He's got one dart or a double. It's his beloved tops. He gets another go because Michael Smith couldn't hit tops. That's the double eight, and that is the nightly win, the weekly win for Nathan Aspinall.